South Sudan became the world's newest nation and Africa's 54th country on July the 9th, 2011. Continued conflict has had its toll on the economy and South Sudan is competing with many other African nations for much needed investment. His Excellency Niel Dengniel is South Sudan's Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation. He's here with us in the studio this evening. Your Excellency, great to have you with us. Glad to be here. Uh, what are the current investment opportunities in South Sudan? There are numerous investment opportunities in the Republic of South Sudan uh, because the country is endowed with um, a lot of natural resources. Uh, they range from uh, petroleum, which is the mainstay of the economy at present, minerals, uh, tremendous agricultural potential. We have got vast swaths of uh, fertile land, uh, abundant water resources. Actually, South Sudan has a mix of, of, of or a blend of, of resources that you rarely find anywhere else. Uh, the only impediment, of course, to South Sudan, as well as the same problem that faces many African countries, are basically lack of infrastructure and problems associated with governance. Uh, but uh, Africa has got abundant natural resources, and South Sudan is a case in point. So how, what's driving growth of the future, do you think? I mean, will it be the, the, both the private and the public sector working together? I mean, let's say more SMEs taking part. I think it will have to be a combination of uh, private as well as the public sector working hand in hand because as far as we are concerned, our resources alone as a government are not sufficient uh, to, to fund economic development. And so we need to complement whatever resources we have with foreign direct investment, inward investment. And precisely that's one of the reasons we are here in the United Arab Emirates on this investment roadshow uh, to explore uh, the possibilities of uh, having uh, private uh, companies uh, in different parts of the world, uh, especially uh, here in the United Arab Emirates and the Gulf, uh, to inject uh, capital for investment in the Republic of South Sudan in the different sectors. Uh, for the time being, we are almost entirely dependent on hydrocarbons. Uh, maybe 98% of the revenue of South Sudan comes from oil and we want to move quickly to diversify our economy because we have got the resources in different sectors uh, that can be exploited uh, for the advancement of the country. You mentioned the roadshow and we'll, we'll talk about that in just a moment or two, but I mean, do you think that African nations could work more closely together to get a more unified Africa, in a sense, working together for the economy? I think in Africa, the leadership has got the right ideas. As you may be well aware, there are a number of initiatives that have been launched by the African Union. The objective of this exercise is eventually to bring the continent together through closer economic uh, integration uh, so as to accelerate the pace of, of de development. Uh, because Africa, despite the huge potential it has, uh, it lacks two key things. First, governance, which is the question of stability which is being addressed at a political level by, by, by most African countries. And secondly, the lack of infrastructure. Africa needs a lot of money to put in place the road network, the communications links, uh, power, which is critical to economic takeoff. Uh, so the, the, the ideas, the plans are, are there, but perhaps the leadership of the continent needs uh, to, to summon greater political will such that uh, we can move quickly. The South Sudan Road Investment Roadshow uh, takes place tomorrow. What, what are your expectations, particularly from investors here in the UAE? Well, actually here we are trying to highlight three main areas. Uh, as I said, given the scope of resources at our disposal, there are many areas in which you can invest. But we are prioritizing three critical areas. Uh, uh, petroleum, uh, mineral resources and agriculture. Uh, ultimately, we look at, 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 at oil merely as a catalyst uh, because we know that we have got uh, other resources that we need to, 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 to tap. So we are looking at oil as, as a catalyst. Uh, but those are the three areas, and we hope to be able to get prospective investors interested in coming to South Sudan, taking a closer look at the opportunities that are on offer, and hopefully uh, decide to invest their money there. Now, the roadshow is here in the UAE, but where else have you been? Where else are you taking it? Uh, we just uh, finished uh, a roadshow in Washington, D.C., in the United States, as well in New York. Uh, it was well received. It was, it was well attended. 
Uh, this is the second in a series of three roadshows. Uh, the final will take us to Johannesburg in South Africa. Great. Well, uh, we'll leave it for there, but uh, we really appreciate you coming in this evening. Uh, Your Excellency, Niel Deng Niel, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Professionals from over 25 countries across the globe have been taking part in the ninth edition of the Federal Authority for Government Human Resources International Conference. This year, the theme is the fourth industrial revolution, human capital challenges. The conference agenda 